tonight, new questions about a tradition for hundreds of families here in our valley. Thousands of girls have spent their summers at Camp Foxtail, but as of tomorrow, it is closing for good. But as 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine is digging into why some believe the camp may have been saved if it wasn't for a huge mistake. More than 40 years of memories. This uh, is one of the original signs from uh, Camp Foxtail. Are now being replaced with moving boxes. There's an emotional pull and tug to camp. The clock is ticking for Camp Foxtail to shut its doors, but new information has the Girl Scouts wondering if they really needed to move at all. It did come as a little bit of a, a surprise to us. The Girl Scouts say the decision to close camp's doors came after years of battling with the U.S. Forest Service. They are the ones that, that let us know that if we are in a protected habitat, how we move forward from that. They say they were prevented from expanding the camp because it sat on protected land for the endangered blue butterfly. But last week, Patrick Donnelly with the Center for Biological Diversity said that wasn't quite the case. Camp Foxtail, uh, the butterfly hasn't been detected there since the 1960s. And that means repairs could have been done all along, possibly saving Camp Foxtail. The Girl Scouts say other factors do play into the camp's closure, but with new information, they're considering whether to spend millions of dollars to renovate or close for good. Right now we're sort of at a holding place and we can't do any of that. We can't make the improvements we want to make. The Girl Scouts will be leaving with a lot of mementos from Camp Foxtail, including these. These are ashes from the last campfire burned here at Camp Foxtail. Reporting from Mount Charleston, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News. Well, hopefully